The chief inspector of prisons basically has said that one in ten prisons in England and Wales are barely fit for purpose. Apparently they should be closed down. Lots of talk now about what we do about it. Do we spend a fortune uh, refurbing them? Do we need to build more prisons? What's your thoughts? If you're going to have prisons, they've got to be safe. They've got to be um, able to to con uh, contain the people, not just the prisoners, but the people who work there, the staff. Obviously, it's not going to be a popular spending thing. The government's been in power when you, for 13 years. When you years. say, if we're going to have prisons, you want, uh, you're not suggesting that we shouldn't have prisons? No, I'm not. Oh, right. but, if you, but if you are going to have places of detention, prisons, they need to be adequate in the same way as if you have schools and hospitals, they need to be adequate. If you have courts and buildings like that, they need to be adequate. If these buildings are falling apart, and, and many of them are Victorian mm -hmm. and have got all sorts of you know, sewage leaks and water leaks and everything else. But, you know, there's not going to be any appetite with this government to spend any money that should have been spent on keeping the, you know, the national estate. Is it, is it quite a difficult selling, though, when you've got a cost of living crisis, you've got finances, public finances being mm. squeezed here, there and everywhere, to come out as a government and say, right, OK, what we're doing now is got this big spend programme, bearing mm -hmm. in mind they can't even seem to sort out the concrete in the schools, for example, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to set up this programme uh, of spending within prisons. Would that be a vote winner? Of course it wouldn't, but they could have done it you know, 10 years ago, 13 years ago. They've left it, they've let it, same with the, the schools, they've let everything go to rack and ruin, and now they're going, oh, well, we're not going to spend money on prisons. Well, it's not all gone to rack and ruin, has it? If one in 10 uh, is not fit for purpose, that means nine in 10 are. So they're not all gone to no, rack and that, ruin. That's, to me, that's the shame, that the number What's is the not shame? nine in 10 are in shocking state. I mean, I like the idea, it cheered me up no end when I, when I saw that that, uh, that uh, they were in shocking condition and the, the rats were fighting uh, for domination in there. Some of the people in those jails ha want to be in jail because they get three meals a day and it's all going rather well. I would like them to be in rather bad shape at the jails and remain in bad shape. And if, they, if there are sewage leaks and water leaks, then it cheers me up no end. But what about... You're all well, heart Calvin, well, aren't you? Well, why should we worry about prisoners, for God's sake? It's supposed to be somewhere where you've gone because you've done something disgusting. I, I sit there and sometimes read, read those um, cases where people have gone to jail, they've gone to jail for four years, they've committed grievous bodily harm, attempted murder, they've changed people's lives. They go in there, they're out in two years, you know, they have go off to an open prison, everything's fine. I'd like to see them actually have, have some kind of pain, equivalent to the pain of the people that, that they, 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 uh, they'd beaten up in the first place. Why, why is that a shocking thing to say, to say about somebody who actually actually has tried almost half kill somebody outside a well, pub on a Friday not, night. That is not what everybody is in prison for. No, but a good it? chunk of them are vile. You know that as well as I do. Do you, not, do you have any sympathy for those that are in prison that are not vile? So, I don't know, say like a, a woman that's been abused uh, for the last two decades by her abusive husband that's finally, finally snaps. You know, not a bad person, but just someone that's been pushed within their limits. What about those? You don't want those well, people well, Everybody who's pushed to their limits doesn't end up uh, knifing to death somebody. So I would say there are exceptions, and what seems to happen in these cases is finally these people don't go to jail or they're in jail for a very short period of time. So society has got empathy. I actually have had an empathy bypass. Mm. Actually, I'm pleased that a load of the prisoners have a vile time. One of my viewers, um, Joe Paul, says, our prisons are overcrowded, there is nothing to help offenders. It's just an awful locking up exercise. Yeah, Why isn't anyone bothered about helping people get an education, helping them get back into society and then perhaps not reoffending? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I mean, the, you know, the whole point about it is it's supposed to be not just punishment, it's rehabilitation. If you put people in appalling conditions, we know perfectly well that more people come out of prison worse and more likely to re-offend or get involved in worse crimes than when they went in. So actually, you, if you have a criminal justice system that works, now let's see, which, who, which department does that come under? I think it's the Home Secretary. Well, well I, tell, I tell you what, what about Andy Coulson? He ends up getting 18 months as the editor of the News of the World. Today he's giving advice to the good and the great at probably £10,000 an hour. So he's a perfect example mm -hmm. of uh, a prisoner uh, who has done rather well in their life. So I'm very pleased for Andy because he's a friend of mine. Rich has said, one of my viewers, Rich, says, my son is currently serving a two-year sentence and every time he rings me, it's simply to ask me for more drug money. He says the system is broken. Um, Dave says that it's supposed to be prison, not a hotel. The, the clue is in the name. It shouldn't be appealing. Um,
Harry says, if Suella hates immigrants so much as she seems to, uh, why doesn't she invest in prisons and put people there as opposed to hotels? Well, well, I mean, even I think you've even lost Kelvin McKenzie. <laughs> you've even lost... No, that's too soft. Yeah, that's Harry, too you've soft. even <laughs> lost Kelvin McKenzie on that one, haven't he? He's lost you, Kelvin, haven't he? Well, he's, he's, ahead, he's ahead of the curve on me on that one, but I hadn't actually thought about that one, but it's not, oh, bad, right. it's not a bad idea. Right. He's giving you ideas. Uh, Harry's giving you ideas. Uh, lots of people as well, though, making that point about rehabilitation. It's all well and good punishing people to within an inch of their life, but if all they're going to do is then come back out and mess around again and around but, the cycle goes and more victims, then it's failed, hasn't it? Yeah, but they've been talking about this. I've been, I have literally... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so old. I've been listening to this argument now all my life, and all I've seen is crime grow, right? The idea, the, the reason you go to jail is not actually so that you come out with a PhD. You're going there to be, be, have a rather horrible life and actually be sectioned off from society for doing something really vile. And do and the, you, oh, sorry, go on. Go on. Uh, do you think, you've set them off now, Harry. Um, do you think, is there a part of you actually that thinks, well, you know, prisons are clearly not bad enough because if they were, then people would never want to go back again, but yet people do re-offend, don't think, they? I think there are some very desperate people for whom prison provides a roof, some sort of routine and some sense of belonging, but I think those are people who are absolutely desperate. Um, I have... Well, I'm sure all of us have, you know, been inside prisons and worked in prisons and, and you know, we know what they look like. They're not hotels. Well, no, they're not hotels, but then I guess the argument would be, and it's an argument for another day because I've only got about 20 seconds left, but it's should the core purpose of prison be punishment or rehabilitation Both. or should it be a blend of the two? Which of the two, if any, take priority? You guys get in touch and tell me your thoughts. Perhaps I'll do that one another day.